Pat in love with Pat's two cents. Here to quote one scripture, follow with Pat's two cents. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. That is what we refer to as the love chapter because charity is love. Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have not charity, I'm a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Now, I'm going to say this to say, I want you to hear this. When you hear, if you tie a bunch of empty cans together, you know how you see a car that says just married and you tie a bunch of empty cans, not full, they're empty. When that car's going down the street, those empty cans make a lot of noise. When you are void of love, you have no idea how much clamor you create. You get upset over this and upset over that and, and, and things just irk you and people get on your last nerve. And you can't figure out why everybody else can't just get it together because you've got more things to do than have to put up with nonsense you are together you have it together and if anybody wants to be with you they better line up baby because after all do you know who I am you know you don't realize that when you are lacking in love you live a life of selfishness you live a life of self-centeredness. It's all about me, you know? They call that narcissism. And you can be narcissistic and make everybody else sick of your narcissism because the world is to revolve around you and everyone else is to adjust to you, your needs and your problems. But you don't have to adjust to anybody. You know why? You don't know what love is. Love is kind. Love is gentle. Love does not insist on having its own way. It's not your way or the highway. When you truly love, when you truly love, you're thoughtful, you're considerate, you're merciful patient understanding you're not mean you don't say things intentionally to hurt people you don't have a dagger at the end of your tongue oh girl yeah that's a nice outfit but I know a store that has your size you know if you were really a man <laughs> really a man yeah, there'd be some things that folks wouldn't have to deal with if you were really a man. But since you're not a real man, we, we just have to make allowances. You don't say mean things like that when you love with God's kind of unconditional love. People don't have to measure up to you for you to love them. God loves us with all of our weakness, or I mean all of our weaknesses, our imperfections, our fallacies, our faults, our sins. He loves us still. So I ask you a question. Who are you to think that you don't have to do as much? <laughs>